It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, Captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, <sighs> But that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... The Pirate King had. Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... We're soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William. Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. 
But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know where you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait. She made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid, Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar. She's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well... Do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now why don't you just fetch? No! <sighs> Thank goodness it's not broken. No. <sighs> she locked me in here? Oh, no, it looks like they're already reading their vows. I have to pick this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so, uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No! Anne? What? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well, that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? And what do you call this little recording of yourself? 
If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate? I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh, Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is- A peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me? Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot! Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked... Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> All right, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmate's clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, Mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, Princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick, and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and Dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes come- I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I going to have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well, then there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I, I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us. Good morning. Mother, about last night- don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's alright. 
I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you. Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch. Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're- Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. Oh, what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... you stay back. Oh, You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me, Mom? It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <laughs> Kara? Yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah, no shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra, an organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? Speech? What's this? It's a new thing started by the government. You're given a certain amount of words a day and you must use all of them, or else. Well, I only have 18 words today. That shouldn't be hard to use. Brianna, how many words do you need to use today? 18. Wow, you're so lucky. I got 5,000 words I have to use today, so I have to talk super fast and I have to use lots and lots of words. Talk, 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 talk. I can't stop talking, can't stop talking. The day's almost done. Did you use all your words? Yes. These are my last words, too. Oh, no, 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 I got 100,000 words to use today. How can I use all those words? You'll have to try your best. I don't understand. I only had 55 words. Now I have so many. What's wrong with your voice? I lost my voice talking so much yesterday. I won't be able to use all my words. No, no. You can do it. You can. I can hardly talk. I want to switch my words back. Hello? The government? Are you there? God? 
Bestie, keep on trying to talk. The day is not over yet. I... I can't... Bestie, I'm so sorry. I love you. It's okay. It's not your fault. I heard from your best friend's mom she passed away. She couldn't use all her words. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be okay. Your soulmate heart magnet came in. Yay! This isn't a heart. It will only make a heart with your soulmate. The magnetic force will pull you towards him, helping you find your soulmate. Wow. Alright kids, time to finger paint. Yay! My heart necklace is making a noise. It's the magnetic force pulling you towards your soulmate. <laughs> Ow. Your soulmate must have been somewhere close. Too bad there was a wall in the way. What's going on? My soulmate must be near. Take me to him. Hey, Bree, where are you off to? Can I come with? My necklace is taking me to my soulmate. <laughs> Why is it pulling me to the floor? Girl, are you okay? I found the other half of my necklace. But I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. I found the other half of my necklace. But I didn't find him. Oh no, your soulmate must have lost his necklace. We have to find out who it is. I need to make an announcement. No, you will not. Attention, everyone. There has been a missing soulmate heart magnet found in the hallway. If anyone is missing their soulmate magnet, come to the office immediately. Give that back to me. You are in big trouble. I heard you guys found a soulmate magnet. I lost mine. Really? You must be my soulmate then. Yeah, I lost it back when I was six years old. Six? What? My soulmate would have lost his magnet in high school, not when he was six. No one else has been bored for missing magnet. Maybe I'll never find my soulmate. I hear a soulmate magnet was found. I lost mine last time I was here visiting the school. <gasps> the prince is your soulmate! You're my soulmate? Okay, what do you choose? Uh, I choose snow, because I want to be just like mommy. Aw, good choice, honey. Don't you worry, I'll teach you how to use your powers. Mom, please don't leave me. Take this, honey so that a part of me will always be with you. Alicia, meet your new stepmom, Greta. What a pleasure it is to meet- Oh! My hand! I'm so sorry, I- I didn't mean to. My hand, it's blue! Go to your room. Is she going to be okay? She has frostbite, but it's mild. Are those the gloves I gave you? Good. Keep them on until you can get your powers under control. Darling, she could have killed me. I am so sorry. Her powers, they've been going haywire ever since her mother passed. Well, she is a danger to all of us. She should be locked in that room. No, I couldn't do that to her. Don't you care about me? Greta, of course I do. Then it's settled. She won't ever leave that room. Here's your breakfast, princess. Aw, oh, thank you. <gasps> you took off your gloves? Uh, yeah, just for a second, though. Oh my gosh. Uh, stay back. I'm gonna leave the food right here. Wait! Hey, Alicia, can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Because it doesn't seem like anyone else is allowed in here. I'm sorry, but I can't have you hurting people with your powers. I won't. I can control them now. Okay, then. Make a single snowflake. Just one? Uh-huh. Like how your mother used to. See? It's all right. You can't do it. But I can learn. I know you will. But until then, you have to stay in here. Dad, please. Put your gloves back on, all right? I'll be back to check on you later. If no one's even allowed near me, what's the point of wearing these anyways? I have to get out of here. Here's your lunch, princess. <gasps> hey! Guards, stop her! She froze my feet to the floor! Put your gloves back on, princess. So you guys can keep me locked in here? I don't think so. <gasps> hey! Stop her! I made it. I'm... I'm free. But where will I go? Mom always said that I could create anything that I imagined, so why don't I just make a place for myself to live? Stop it. You got this. It's working! Whoa, I can't believe I made this place. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it'll do. I just feel like I'm gonna get a little bit lonely in here, so maybe I can make myself some sort of a pet. I've always wanted a dog. Oh, I think I'll call you Snowball. Ah! Well, well. Greta, 
What are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. This is my home now. I think it's time I showed you my little secret. You have powers? Yes, I was a princess after all. Guess which one I chose? Why don't I just show you? You have fire powers? Mm-hmm. And I'm impressed with this place, but I think it could use a little remodeling. Stop! You're melting it! <laughs> exactly. Snowball, run! <laughs> Guards, get her. Yes, your majesty. Stay back. I'm... I'm warning you. Come on, work. That's enough. Let's go. Ugh. Sit down. Sorry for the restraints, Alicia, but your powers are just out of control. I want to speak to my dad. Oh, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Who wants to break her the news? What happened was all your fault, really. What are you talking about? Will you see, dear, after you ran away, your father went to go looking for you. I begged him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He hasn't returned since. What? Yes, and I guess with him gone, I'm your guardian now. No, you have to send guards out to go looking for him. No one could survive in that snowstorm, Alicia. And to think this all happened because you ran away. The king is gone because of you. Take her to the dungeon. What if he's still out there, probably freezing to death? Oh, if I could just get my hands out of these things. Oh. It's no use. I'm never going to get out of here. Focus. Focus. Who said that? You know who I am. Mom? Please don't leave me. Take this, honey, so that a part of me will always be with you. The necklace, it, it must be magic. Mom, please, tell me how to get out of here. Layla, where are you? You're supposed to be my backup. Layla? She just put in the chat that she's out of speaking time. And we just lost. Your mother requests to see you. Guys, I gotta head off. See you later, rich girl. Must be nice to have a butler. Shut up. Tell her I'll be right there. Bye. Darling, meet my new boyfriend. What's up? Mom, can I speak to you alone for a minute? Okay, I'll be right back, babe. Mom, he is like 25. You realize that you're 40 now, right? So? Age is just a number and he makes me happy. Don't you want me to be happy? Yeah, man, she's hot and loaded. Nah, she doesn't even know about my secret. Dude, her daughter's kind of hot, too. I'm just in this for the money, though. Shit, you scared me. Wait, how long have you been standing out here? Hey, hold on. Mom, your boyfriend is a... Aw, you're out of speaking time, honey. I thought you had an hour left. Guess there was a glitch. Honey, enough charades. I don't understand. Well, that was weird. <gasps> Young lady, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry, babe. Go to your room. You seem stressed. Here, take your squishy. You know, you could use your phone to communicate. She's not picking up? They did leave saying they wanted alone time. <sighs> yes, oh, he is so busted. Mom, there's something I need... I have to take a phone call, excuse me. Don't worry, I'll keep her company. You stay out of my way. This is your final warning. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Her boyfriend's controlling your speaking time? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. <clears throat> the boyfriend has left. Time for me to expose him. Hi, Mom. I see your boyfriend isn't around. He went to go get me coffee. Isn't that sweet? No, actually not sweet, because he has a big secret. And one of them is that he's been stealing my speaking time. Hey, I'm back. No, watch, Mom. My speaking time is just going to magically disappear now. What? Seems fine to me, honey. Okay, fine. If I saw my voice, then I'm going to use it. I heard you saying that you had a secret. A secret? Oh, boy. I wanted this to be a surprise, but oh, well. Evelyn, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me? Babe, yes. <laughs> I cannot let her marry him. Hey, what is this? This is how he's been controlling my speaking time. Give me that! I warned you! Come here! Your plan to expose me didn't work. Your mom and I are gonna get married today in Las Vegas. Babe, where are you? Coming, sweetheart! Sadie, there you are. I had a feeling you might be in need of some help. There we go. Are you quite alright, Miss Sadie? Here you are. I took this off of Mr. Blake. Shall I get us a cab for Las Vegas? Oh, yeah. 
I now pronounce you husband. Stop the wedding. Your fiance Blake is a psychotic little gold digger. Babe, I thought she was sick. No, mom. He locked me in my makeup room. What? She's lying. I saw her myself, and he's also been stealing her speaking time. I have not. How could he do that? With this. Hey! You give that back, you little... I think you've said enough. You jerk! That's for messing with my daughter. Ugh. And that's for taking my speaking time. Make a wish. Hey, happy birthday. What's your soulmate's name so daddy can take care of him? Dad... I'm kidding, come on. His name hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, but when it shows up, you tell me who it is. Understand? No, please. I'm telling you. I, I don't know nothing. Oh. Maria, put your headphones on. Hey, Maria. Yeah? I finally did it, sweetheart. I got his location. And by his, do you mean the man that killed... Your mother. Yeah. Turns out he's got a secret son. You're kidding. Nah, he's a CEO of a company. Let me guess. You want me to use him to get to his father? Yep. I already got a plan. What's his name? Antonio. Antonio Stefano. <gasps> what? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Just thought I saw a bug. Tell me what you need me to do. And pretend you got a big business deal for him. Okay, but what if he's not interested? Then you make him interested. For mom, I'll do whatever it takes. He's ready for you. Mr. Stefano, Miss Lane is here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stefano. Please, call me Antonio. Take a seat. I hear you have a business proposal for me. Actually, I do. May I show it to you? Go right ahead. And that's how this deal will make us millions. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to make any deals right now. Then why did you have me explain it? I like the sound of your voice. Now, why don't you do me a favor, doll, and tell me why you're really here? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me, Miss Lane, if that's even your real last name. What are you implying? Let's just say I have a lot of enemies. And you think that one of them sent me to what? Kill you? Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. Your little business deal was bullshit. What makes you say that? Some of the math was off. By a lot. Look, I don't know who you think I... Mr. Stefano, your father's on the phone? <sighs> Stay here. We are not done. Excuse me. Dad, did you get all that? Yeah, that son of a gun smarter than I thought. Yeah, maybe double check your math next time. Look, you gotta get out of there. I can't. He... He's coming back. Now where were we? You were just about to let me go home. Not gonna happen, Miss Lane. Not until you tell me what's really going on here. Fine. First off, don't call me Miss Lane anymore. My name's Maria. And secondly, this conversation hasn't been private. Maria, what the hell are you doing? But now it is. Who was listening in? If you want to know that, I suggest you sit down and listen very carefully. So we're soulmates. And your father doesn't want us to be together? Yes, but I'm done listening to him. I... I want to be with you. And your friends are Maria, what the hell was that about, huh? Relax, he's got a thing for me, and I put a tracker on him. I gotta say I'm impressed. We're finally gonna get justice for your mother. I see his car. He's here. Copy that. Hey, you came. Of course. <laughs> I'm ready to run away with you. Me too. I say we leave and never come back here again. Cheers. To new beginnings. So, whose car are we gonna take? <laughs> Let's, Let's take, take mine. mine. No thanks. Actually, I wasn't really asking, sweetheart. Neither was I, sweetheart. Let me guess, you found the tracker. Did you think I wouldn't? Obviously I did, which is why I came prepared. Want to know why I chose this restaurant for us to meet at? Why? Because my father knows all the waiters, including one that served you your drink. You little... Bring the van. He's not going anywhere. Let me handle this. No, Dad, I want to stay. Maria, he's going to wake up any minute, and... Why do you keep looking at him like that? You didn't tell me your soulmate's name. Um, I... Sounds like someone's about to get grounded. Your father doesn't know, does he? Doesn't know what? Your daughter and I are soulmates. Are you kidding me? Dad, I can explain. Nah, Maria. He's dead. No, he's not responsible for what happened to Mom. His father is. What are you two talking about? Your dad killed my mom. That's why I came after you. My father wouldn't go that far. Guess you don't know him too well. He's right. Dominic? Dad? How did you find him? 
I always keep an eye on my son. Now tell me, Antonio, which one of them should I take out first? Last time I checked, you were outnumbered. Oh, but am I? Oh, no! Maria, you know what you have to do. You're next. Dad, what are you doing? I want them to stay away from me. I remember. Stop! She's my soulmate! What? Oh. Dad! Relax. I didn't shoot to kill. How's your father holding up? He's doing pretty good for someone who just got shot in the shoulder. How about yours? He's pissed, but he's alive. Maria, listen. I want you to know I had no idea about your mom, and I'm turning my father in. You are? Yes. Look, I'm sure your dad's no saint either, but what my father did. No little girl should have to witness that. Thank you, Antonio. That, that means a lot to me. And it means a lot to me that you didn't kill him when you had the chance. Where are you going? Leaving. I figure you don't want to be with me. Antonio, wait. I do want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? More than anything. Then what do you say we put our parents' past behind us and start fresh? I'd like that. Here, this is your future pill. Future pill? Yeah, it tells you what your future career will be. Gold digger? But that's not even a career. I need a new pill. Can't. Everyone only gets one. Hey, did you take your future career pill? <laughs> no way, you got gold digger? Shh. We don't need to draw attention to it. Everyone look, Brianna's future career is a gold digger. <laughs> Stay away from her, boys. All right, everyone, you can partner up for these math worksheets. Hey, Derek, can you help me? I don't understand anything. No, don't talk to me. You just want to take my money. What money? Did you take your future pill yet? No, I haven't taken it yet. I have it right here. I'll take it when we get back from the assembly. Good idea. Let's go. No way. So cool. I'm going to be a mafia boss. Well, if I'm going to be a mafia boss, I'd better start dressing the part. Someone stole my future pill. Now I'm going to have no future. Hey, look, it's the... Ah! Since when are you going to be a mafia boss? I'm scared. Now that I'm going to be a mafia boss, no one will mess with me. Sorry. Hey, watch where you're going. Please don't hurt me. Bree, how is it possible that your future career will change? You only get one pill. Don't know, and I don't care. Can't believe it. Someone stole my future pill, and now I don't get a future. I'm going to be jobless. I know who stole your future career pill. It was Brianna. Her future career all of a sudden just changed. I got you the new dolly you wanted. Thank you. I love... Stop. You can't ever say I love Y-O-U. If you say it to someone who's not your soulmate, you'll lose all memory of the person you said it to. Hey, baby. I got you lunch. Aw, thank you, babe. You're amazing. I think it's time for us to say the L word. But Evan, what if you're not my soulmate? I don't want to forget you. It's okay. You don't need to forget me. I'll just say it then. I love you. Evan? Um, who are you? How do you know my name? I'm your girlfriend. I don't even know you. You're not my girlfriend, you bitch. Hey, Emily. Evan told me he loved me today. Brianna, that's great. He forgot me. Oh, no. I need to make him fall for me again. Even if we're not soulmates, I don't want to lose him. <laughs> Emily? Evan? Emily, how could you kiss Evan? I love him. And I? Brianna, don't say it. Love you. Emily, how could you kiss Evan? I love him. And I? Brianna, don't say it. Love you. No, Brianna. Brianna. Hmm? How do you know my name? Uh, I'm not sure, but my name's Emily. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Brianna, I really like your sweater. It's so cute. Thank you. It's new. I just bought it. My ex just came in. He told me he loved me today and then forgot me. Whatever. Don't worry about him. You deserve so much better. Thanks, but how would you know? You don't even know me. I don't have to know you. It's obvious. Did you see? Evan was looking at you the whole class. Whatever. He lost his chance. Hey, Emily? Yeah? I never forgot you. What? I never forgot you. Oh, thank goodness it's only one. I don't want to have any competition.
A thousand? How does he even know a thousand people? A hundred thousand? This can't be right. What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's just that a hundred thousand people are simping over my soulmate. Whoa, a hundred thousand? Mine is none. Oh, well, you're lucky then. One million? Oh, wow. He must be famous. I know. I gotta find him before those girls do. He's my soulmate. I have to be the one he chooses. Okay, so what are we thinking? Is he like worldwide famous or social media famous? Hmm. Two million? He's getting more famous and more simps by the minute. I should give up. I'm never going to find him. And if I do, how am I going to compete with two million girls? You can't give up. That's your soulmate. I'm so sorry. Watch where you're going, nerd. Uh, excuse me, nerd? Who do you think you are? How about you watch your manners next time? I'll do as I please. OMG, I can't believe you talked him that way. Do you know who he is? No, and I don't think I want to. He's kind of a jerk. He's low-key social media famous. He has over 2 million followers on TikTok. What? Bestie, I think I found my soulmate. <laughs> That's great. Why are you upset? Because he's an entitled TikTok influencer. Come on, give him a chance. Ask him out on a date. You might change your mind. You're right. I need to know if he's truly my soulmate or not. Hey. Hey, nerd. So, I think you might be my soulmate. Let me explain. My soulmate has over 2 million people crushing on them, and you have over 2 million followers on TikTok. So I just need to go on a date with you to test if this theory is true or not. So you like me? No, I never said that. I said that you might be my soulmate. Makes sense. My soulmate has zero crushes. Then it must not be me, because I would have way more than that. I don't think so. Do you want to go on a date or not? Sure. I'll pick you up at 11. All right. Sounds good. See you then. Oh, that must be him. Hey. Wow, you look beautiful. I, I do? Yeah, I mean, for a nerd. We had a moment there, and you ruined it. Let's go. This is a really nice place you brought me. Isn't it? It's one of my favorites. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just your crushes keep going up. Do you feel insecure? Yeah, I mean, a little. Three million girls is a lot of competition. Yeah, three million girls is a lot, but you're the only one on a date with me. And you're the only one that I see. Did you also just... <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> the date was amazing. OMG, I saw you on TikTok. You're so cute. <laughs> did you just bark at me? She's a psycho. Are you serious? How do you have four million crushes? Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Uh, sure. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you mad? I thought we talked about this already. Sorry. I guess I just wanted you all to myself. Such a beautiful day out today. Isn't it? Hey, cutie. Are you by chance single? No, he's not actually. He has a girlfriend. And it's me. Oh, really? Yes! Stop acting like this. You're acting crazy. I can't do this anymore. Why do you have so many crushes all of a sudden? I do? Really? How many? 200. 200? Nice! How was that nice? Says the guy with over 4 million simps. How did you do it? I, uh, I started TikTok. Let me see. No, no, don't! Seriously? You're posting thirst traps? 2,000 crushes, really? I have 2,000 crushes already? I can't believe I ever even liked you. How can you even be upset? You have way more crushes than I do. Yeah, but I didn't purposely get people to crush on me just to spite you. Look, I'm sorry. I was just jealous, and I thought if I had lots of crushes too, we could be equal. Save it, alright? I'm leaving. Have fun with your simps. Yeah, and you have fun with yours. Stop posting thirst traps on TikTok. Very bold of you to say. 
Oh, would you look at that? Four million one hundred thousand. Four million two hundred thousand. Wow, your crushes are going very fast. Cut it out already. Who are you to tell me what to do? We broke up, right? This is getting out of hand. Just stop posting. I'll stop posting when you stop. Hey. Look, I don't want your critique any longer. I'm here to say I'm sorry. I get it. I understand how you're feeling. It's hard to see people fall for the person you like. It's my fault too. I was being insecure. You know what I think of this whole crush soulmate thing? You covered my crushes. Yeah, let's not look at them anymore. They don't define our relationship. You're right. I like it better this way. So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl. Any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on, let's get to class. Oh, look, it's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, Mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm gonna get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. To see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please. I can explain. Giselle? Olivia? Come with me. Giselle? Olivia? Come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay. At least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. Come on, please don't be anything bad. Okay, how was that a curse? I mean, we basically read each other's minds anyways. So, do I tell her I can read her mind now? Nah, I don't want to creep her out. That's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. How did she look so nice today? 
you look so pretty today too. I mean, you look so pretty every day, honestly. Um, thanks. She's totally lying. Why would she think I was lying to her? Bye, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys are so cute. I have to get them to break up. I can't wait to get a boyfriend in the picture. Then she'll be all mine. I don't understand why she would be thinking all this stuff. Unless maybe she likes me. Does this mean she's going to try and ruin my relationship with Chris? I'm overthinking. There's no way this Amber Alert's for him. Breaking news, a teenage boy has been reported missing tonight. Jace? Hey girl, how are you? Not good. Didn't you hear the news about Jace? No. Macy, he's missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I gotta get to class. I think she might have Jace. That's it. I have to go talk to her. You wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah, and, um, listen, this is kind of hard to say, but I know that you like me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... Good. She doesn't like her. She doesn't It's just... It's just that I have a boyfriend? Mm, well, he's missing. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the... Achoo! No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. <sighs> come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is gonna want to come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't want to come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you? How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now, get out. Ugh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey, babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey, babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, you know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. He's lying to protect you. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. <laughs> you see, sir, I would kill her, but you know, I don't want to mess up this new shirt, so- Either you kill her, or him and I will do it ourselves. No, please. Look, let's just all settle down. You just- I think I'm gonna need a change of clothes. Really, babe? The Mafia? You're lucky I find that kind of attractive. Well, I know a place we can lay low. I bet. But we gotta be careful who we trust. I have something that can help with that. Timmy! Let's play freeze dance, okay? Freeze! Wait, am I supposed to freeze now? Unfreeze! No! Brianna, you killed Timmy! You're not supposed to play freeze dance. It's for population control. It kills people. I didn't know. Hey, Kevin. I made you muffins. Thanks, Brianna. Hey, stay away from Kevin. He's mine. Well, I don't see your name on him. Let's play freeze dance and settle this once and for all. Whoever wins gets Kevin. Deal. I didn't agree to this. Freeze. Ow, ow. Leg cramp. Leg cramp. 
No, Kevin, baby, I'm coming to save you. Unfreeze. And what, and what, and what, and what, and Freeze. Oh, oh, leg cramp, leg cramp. No, Kevin, baby, I'm coming to save you. Unfreeze. Oh no, Brianna, were you playing freeze dance? Because of you, Brittany and Kevin are dead. She killed Brittany and Kevin? She's sick. No, no, it's not like that, I promise. Hey, leave her alone. Brianna, come with me. Hey, thanks for getting me out of there. I really appreciate it. It was nothing. Do you remember Timmy? Timmy? Freeze. Wait, am I supposed to freeze now? Yeah, I do remember him. He died playing freeze dance back when I was six. He was my brother. It's time that I finally avenge his death. I challenge you to a game of freeze dance. Uh-oh, the poisonous gas is being released. Hurry, hold your breath. All right, everyone, here's your gas mask. It will stop you from breathing in the poisonous gas being released. Uh, excuse me, I didn't get one. There's not enough gas masks for everyone. The families with the highest incomes are given it first. But that's not fair. The rest of us are going to die. We can't keep holding our breath forever. You'll have to try. Oh, no. <sighs> it's not fair. They get masks and we don't. It's like they're trying to get rid of us. I know. And the times we're getting to hold our breath are getting longer and longer. Come on, pick up the pace! Keep running! I can't, I'm out of breath! What? <laughs> How am I still alive? Oh no, all the people who didn't have gas masks are dead! Not everyone. Brianna's still alive. That's impossible. How can she hold her breath for 10 minutes and still be alive? OMG, you're alive! No way. How did you survive? You didn't have a gas mask. I don't know. I couldn't hold my breath any longer, so I just breathed in the gas. So did I. I'm not gonna fight it anymore. We breathed in the gas. How are we surviving? I think the people that died didn't die from the gas. They died from holding their breath. Look at your hand. Look at your hand. Oh no. I must have had some kind of reaction to the poisonous gas. Your face. It's turning green. <coughs> I don't feel so good. <gasps> it's not supposed to be time yet. Hold your breath as long as you can. This world is not meant for you. It's impossible to hold our breath that long. I know. <coughs> Look at you. You're getting worse. Me? What about you? Look at your arm. I got the oxygen can 3000. It's way better than those silly gas masks. Hey, rich boy. Give me that oxygen tank. Here, I got you this oxygen tank. You need to use it right away. You're not breathing well at all. It's too late. Ready for the ghoul school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling- Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't wanna be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Is it the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No, legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just... Ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. 
No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well, attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. <gasps> no! What's wrong, Holly? My soulmate, Jared, he's 80% nice and 20% naughty, but that still means he's gonna be on the naughty list. He is the son of Jack Frost. But Winky, he saved my life last year. He's been nice. Plus, I think he's gonna propose to me soon. Holly, your father wants to talk to you. Yes, Dad? Is it true that Jared is thinking of proposing? Well, he's sort of been hinting at it. He needs to be 100% nice before Christmas. But Dad, Christmas is only a few days away. If he is not off the naughty list, then you can't be together. I used my ice powers to make that for you. I hope you like it. I love it, Jared. Thank you. Hey, watch this. No, Jared! <sighs> <laughs> you can't be using your ice powers like that. Why not? It's funny. Because you're still 20% naughty. And my dad said if you don't get on the nice list by Christmas, we can't be together anymore. What? I have to get a 100% nice score? Yeah, I'm sorry. My dad is super strict. We have to be together. We're soulmates. Plus, I'm more nice than I am naughty. I think my dad's just afraid that you're going to turn into a supervillain just like your dad, Jack Frost. I won't. And I'm going to get a 100% score just for you. Well, if it isn't Santa's little daughter... Um, who are you? The Tooth Fairy's daughter, and I'm gonna be the one to marry Jared, not you. What? <laughs> Nighty night? <laughs> Holly, wake up! Is this dental floss? Yep, and it's really strong, so you won't be getting free. Now to turn into you. Huh? Just watch me work my magic. Ta-da! Why are you doing this? I had a crush on Jared first, so I'm gonna make him misbehave so you two can never be together. He's gonna know it's not me. We'll see about that. I'll be back to check on you later. No, his score is going down. What is she having him do? No, his score went down again. 
It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty, and we can go to your place, and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you okay, don't- Okay, wait, I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No, how long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't gonna be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute, aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, that should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared! Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... No way! Looks like baby Crystal has taken up after me. <laughs>